shocking mass extinction supernova event theory the horror the dinosaur killer ah. a new mass extinction theory involves supernovas green bananas dinosaur killers green bananas <laughs> yeah new research shows exploding stars they have caused mass extinction on earth at least that's uh that's what we got here from SciTech daily here green bananas a new research shows exploding stars may have caused mass extinction on earth the team explored other astrophysical causes for ozone depletion such as meteorite impacts solar eruptions and gamma ray bursts but these events end quickly and are unlikely to cause a long-term ozone depletion that happened at the end of the Devo Devonian period, said graduate student and study co-author Jesse Miller. A supernova, on the other hand, delivers a one-two punch. Boom, boom, boom. You know, it's three. Back it up, son. One-two punch. Boom, boom. The researcher said, that was good. Did you guys enjoy that? I enjoyed saying it. The explosion immediately bathes Earth with damaging UV, X-rays, and gamma rays. Later, the blast of supernova debris slams into the solar system. Bam, baby, bam! Subjecting the planet to long-lived irradiation from cosmic rays accelerated by the supernova. The damage to Earth and its ozone layer can last for up to... 100,000 years! However, fossil evidence indicates a 300,000 year decline. 300,000 year decline in biodiversity leading up to the Devonian Carboniferous mass extinction, suggesting the possibility of multiple catastrophes, maybe even multiple supernova explosions. This is entirely possible! You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm going to continue on. This is entirely possible! Miller said. You, you talk like this now, Miller. This is your voice now. Massive stars usually occur in clusters with other massive stars. And other supernovae are likely to occur soon after the first explosion. Tickle, 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 tickle. Mad eyes, mad eyes, mad eyes. Are we? Are we the, the circumstance of the happenstance of the numerical problem stancic situation of a span of time and space that is yet to be eaten by the external is that pretty much the breadth and depth of the definition of who and what we fundamentally are a circumstance of a space of peace before the next brood of vipers invades the uh, cellular walls to such degree so as to create Biden supporters or Trump supporters or anyone for that matter. See, I wasn't going anywhere with it. I just want to set you guys up. I mean, really, anybody. I mean, snake lovers, people who wear their underwear on the outside, all of them, Star Wars fans. Star Wars haters. All of them. The article does continue, though. Uh, the team said the key to providing or to proving that a supernova occurred would be to find the radioactive isotopes plutonium-244 and samarium-146 in the rocks and fossil deposited at the time of extinction. Neither of these isotopes occur naturally on Earth today, and the only way they can get here via, is via cosmic explosions. You know, that's weird. Neither of these isotopes occur naturally. Really? Do we? 
Do we know that definitively? I mean, in science, there's very few closed doors. Is that one of the doors? I mean, maybe it is. I mean, don't remember. Maybe it is. I'm just saying. Is it really, though? You tell me. Comment down below if that's true, if you're a scientist. Said, oh, now it's a new person. Said, undergraduate student and co-author Zheng Hai Liu. Now you have a German accent, too. So congratulations, Zheng Hai Liu. I don't discriminate against anyone. You're all German now. Well, until the next uh, accent comes in my head. The radioactive species born in the supernova are like green bananas. There you go, like green bananas. It was worth the payoff, wasn't it? Field said, When you see green bananas in Illinois, you know they are fresh. And you know that they did not grow here like uh, bananas. You know, pure two for foreign as someone for 60k over time. So if we find these radioisotopes on Earth today, we know that they are fresh. Fresh. And not from here. The green bananas of the isotope world. And thus the smoking gun of a nearby supernova. Well, there you go. I mean, that's... That's, ah, uh, wow. Mass extension, let's just see something here, okay? I would like to ponder the existence of the possibility of there being more evidence out there. So uh, let's... Let's see what the the Google let let's see what the Google search first tells us. Here we have uh, exploding stars may have caused mass extinction on Earth. Study shows killer cosmic rays from nearby supernova could be the culprit behind at least one mass extinction event. Researchers said and findings certain radioactive isotopes, green bananas. Oh, the ripey ripes. They, now we understand the ripey ripes. See how that works. See how I did that for you. Looking for the green bananas, the green bananas, the green bananas, banana bananas. I love green bananas. I mean, because I know they're going to be yellow soon and then I can fucking eat them. Duh. Anyway, finding certain radioactive isotopes in Earth's rock record could confirm this scenario. So now they know what to look for, basically. And then we got panas.org, supernova triggers for endonovian devonian X. Extinctions. And more from Panas. I don't want to hear more from Panas. I mean, I mean, that's name. Should that be censored? Panas. It sounds rude. It sounds rude. It does. I'm just kidding. Uh, and then we see basically, basically everybody is covering the same story just like I am. So I'm doing everything that they're doing. So screw you guys. I don't judge you guys. I love what you're doing. I respect what you do. <laughs> Whew. Mass extinction, this is uh, down the Google News search. <coughs> Mass extinction may have been caused by near Earth death and despair. Sci fi wire did a devastating supernova detonation cause a Devonian mass extinction. It explains Dallas Cowboys fans the supernova theory because they would have been infected and then that's what they would look like. I'm just going to leave that one there. I'm not going to follow that one up. That one that one rests on its own. BGR, a distant star explosion may have triggered mass. So it's basically the same stuff. There's, there's nothing. So it's an entirely new Earth emerging to dangerous COVID-19. Oh, that is interesting. An, an ancient supernova caused a mass extinction on Earth. Okay, and that somehow is tied to Planet Earth Report, entirely new Earth emerging to dangerous COVID-19 myths. You know, I I don't know. I don't really like uh, people in uh, significant positions of gatekeeping authority having the power to define to the universe what dangerous is. Just don't. Don't fundamentally trust myself to live in that world. But anyway... That's not about this. That's not about this. This is about this. This is, listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Here you go. This is what it's about. Shocking mass extinction supernova event theory. The horror. 
a dinosaur killer. So now, in essence, they have to go out and look for the green bananas and see if they find them. What if they find the green bananas right here and right now? They're like, dude, we're in the middle of it right now. This explains so much. Literally explains how everyone, literally everyone is now writing. They're writing with fire crayons. That's what I, 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 like the whole world is writing with fire crayons. And maybe this mass extinction supernova event theory is happening right now. And we're literally being invaded by green bananas. We have green bananas inside us that are literally turning us into idiots. And uh, not even high school, not even junior high school, elementary school recess tribal thuggeries that's that's what we're operating at that that is that 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 crayon fire we're writing crayon but we're writing an angry crayon on the playground uh concrete uh floor so to speak uh, playground ground concrete ground is redundant that kind of robbed me for a loop but i charge ahead anyway we write on the playground ground in crayon and the playground concrete in crayon we write the angry you know, Susie likes to whatever indecence whatever we can do we're, we're, this is what we're doing this is what we're doing and we're yelling at each other like we do in playgrounds and the populars are trying to use their popular powers to just popular shame people into not questioning the crap that they say and uh, and all of it is explained because of uh green bananas that makes sense well <clears throat> i hope you appreciated this i know i really appreciated doing this one and being able to loop this around to green bananas has been a thrill so i'm gonna i'm gonna press the button to, to end it i think i like the music though this is uh Voltrog. I'll try to get in future videos, I'll try to get a, a link to his, uh, well, to some, somebody did a playlist of some of his music. He doesn't post much, but, but Voltrog is the deal, man. Anyway, he does this music. I'm, some of the music's mine, but this one's his. I like it. It's, it's basically this, I consider this the theme song of the show, all right? I'm going to stop it now. I said too much.